This tool completely changes recruiting in college football revamped, and today, I'm gonna show you why. Anytime that I believe that this game has reached its limits, the CFB revamped team does something extraordinary. The tool that we're looking at today is Fang's Recruiting Generator, and Fang is cool because he actually worked on college football revamped. Thank you, Fang. I wanna clarify before we get into this video, don't think if you don't have CFB revamped that you just missed out on this awesome tool. You can use it on console as well. It just takes a couple extra steps. You need to know how to decrypt your save files. If you're on PlayStation, that's brute force. If you're on Xbox, that's Horizon. So get on that. You're missing out. I've only used this tool once, so it can't be too hard to figure out. Let's jump into it. Basically, the way that this works is it fixes a lot of different aspects of recruiting. For example, awareness is buffed for all recruits. The top recruits are higher overall. There's a better distribution of five star players. It also tweaks a couple things about athletes. They're pretty nerfed in general. And also, as you see in like the 247 databases, there are pro style quarterbacks and dual threat quarterbacks. This isn't necessarily reflected in the game. So pure quarterback quarterbacks will generally have better throw power and accuracy, while athlete quarterbacks will have higher speed and throw power, but worse accuracy altogether. However, the thing that I like most about this tool is that real data is used to match different skin tones to different positions, and also their names. The number of white cornerbacks you find in this game is ridiculous. It's nice to know that the days of seeing white cornerbacks named Lamar are gone. So at this point in the video, I think we're gonna try to install the recruiting generator and play through a season of recruiting and see how we like it. It will also serve as kind of a tutorial section on how to install the mod, but if you just want to see how it works in game, then just skip to the timestamp I put in the description. These videos take quite a bit of time to make, so if you appreciate it, consider dropping a like on the video. It helps out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you like Dynasty content. I have an ECU Pirate series going right now. It's been a lot of fun. And there's a new Team Builder series on the way that you won't want to miss. Subscribe and ring the bell. Before you can even download this, you need to be in the CFB revamp Discord server, so you can find this zip file in the community mods. Once again, if you need to join the Discord, you can find that on the CFB revamped Twitter page that's linked in the description below. 1.3 is the most recent version, but it may be out of date by the time you get to see this video. The best way to see if there's a new version is just to search Fangs Recruit Overhaul, and you'll eventually find a link from a very nice person. It also may be pinned in the Community Mods channel as well. I'll also link this message too so you can find it easier, but if you need to search for a later version, that's how you do it. From there, just install the zip file wherever you want. Once you have this folder, you want to go to the README text first. This tells you everything that you're gonna need throughout the process. You absolutely need all three of these things. The Madden Extreme Editor, it's already included. Then we need the AST Editor. And lastly, you need Excel. I've never used the AST Editor before. I'm a huge noob. I don't even know what an AST is. To find the AST Editor, I went to Tools, and here it is. And what do you know? The AST Editor is in this folder. I'll just drag that in here. So now we have everything that we need. Thank you, University Account, for the Excel. There are two parts of the overhaul that you should use to get the most out of your experience. The details on what each of them do are in the readme file. I recommend just using both. It's not that hard. We'll give you great things. The first thing we need to do is open this file in the AST editor. Make sure that RPCS3 is closed when you try to edit this. First things first, let's open the AST editor. Now we're going to open NCAA AST, then find wherever your emulator is. I'm just going to search for this file. Makes it a lot easier. You can find it in this directory, and it just opens this really confusing thing. But we can ignore all this and just scroll all the way to the bottom, and we need to extract selected. I'll just do it in the fang folder. Now we're going to go back into our download folder and open the RCAT generator in Excel. You have to click enable editing. And before you can do anything, you need to make sure that macros are enabled. If macros are not enabled, this will not work. This is a very beefy line of code that I don't understand. You need to make sure that macros are enabled. So go file options, trust center settings, macro settings, and you're going to enable VBA macros. It says potentially dangerous code can run. Just do it. If you follow instructions correctly, nothing will go wrong. Enough people have done this to the point where I trust it. Please don't sue me. I don't have any money. So macros are on. We're going to open the RCAT generator from the download file. So it's recommended to regenerate an RCAT file every four to eight seasons. I'm not sure why you do this. You should just do it. And we're going to click run below to generate our new RCAT file. And boom, there it is. So now we have this RCAT generator.csv file. We're going to open the Madden Extreme DB editor. And remember that file that you abstracted from the AST editor? You're going to open that one. When this is open, it looks a little scary. All you need to do is go down to the RCAT tab on the side. That's number 82. Once this is open, go to CSV, import RCAT generator. And it's going to take a bit. When the green bar disappears. It has imported successfully. Took me about a minute. You could just go ahead and save this file. I'm actually going to go find my file. You'll see why in a second. That's the one in the emulator in this directory. All we're going to do is copy that to our desktop. You'll see why in just a second. But what we're going to do is go back to Fang's folder. We want to open the AST editor again. Now this time we're going to find the one on our desktop. 
Then we're scrolling all the way down like we did before. Right click, replace selected. Then you're gonna wanna save over the one in the emulator directory, not the one on the desktop. Now right here, this is where I was getting a message before. You cannot overwrite the current file if you open the one in the emulator and try to overwrite the one in the emulator. So we're just gonna overwrite this and that'll take a second. For this part, this is all you have to do on the computer. That was super easy. Fang did a great job of making it very idiot proof for people like me. Now we're gonna close out of everything and get into the game. Once you load into your game, in a dynasty for the first part you need to make sure that you are before the recruiting screen that's because the file that we just put into the game affects the recruits that are generated so it wouldn't make sense you can't just add it mid-season it needs to be in the preseason so now we're just gonna skip to recruiting and see the type of prospects that are generated here and I think it worked we have an 87 overall tackle at number one that's how you know that this worked a defensive end in the top five just like in real life the Kayvon Thibodeau's the Nolan Smith Nate Paul at 84 overall. That's insane. Now keep in mind, all this is doing is changing the distribution of the prospects along with giving them some higher overalls. The next part is going to change all the names, the skin tones, etc. So to do that next step, we need to save this game. I just wanted to make sure it worked. Okay, so now we need to import the preseason recruit editor. If you don't want this, you don't have to have it. Fang just recommends it for the full experience. This one is also a lot fewer steps. The biggest note for this next step is it needs to be done every single season after generating your recruits. The first thing we're going to do is open up the Madden Extreme DB editor again. So now we're editing the dynasty file particularly. So you need to open whatever your dynasty was named. Once again, you have to extract this from your console if that's what you're playing on using Brute Force or Horizon, PS3, Xbox respectively. Open up the user data file. Now you're going to open the RCPT tab. Once that opens, right click and export. I'm just going to put it in here for now and you need to save it as recruits.csv. Otherwise, the next step will not work. Now we are going to open the preseason recruit editor file in the overhaul folder. You can change any of these tabs, but otherwise just click run. If you have macros enabled, it'll work. And then you need to just open that recruit CSV file that you just saved. We're gonna close out of Excel. Once again, go back into the Madden Extreme DB editor, then open up your dynasty file. Then we're gonna go back to the RCPT tab, right click, import, and we want the new recruits CSV file. Once that loads, just file save. And let's open up our emulator again and see what happened. Moment of truth, have our recruits names changed? They absolutely have. We've got Xavier Johnson now. That is the beefy player at 87 overall. Look at this, Jarrell Taliaferro, Jalen Fentress, Zorel Schooler. These names are awesome. You absolutely have to do this step. This, my friends, is one of the greatest additions to any video game I have ever seen. This creates so much more immersion than having John Smith every class. This is absolutely awesome. Let's play through a season and see what our class looks like. One thing that I absolutely love seeing in this mod is that there are plenty of players that are non-skill positions that are five stars. I think that's one of the biggest pet peeves I've had as I've played this game for all of these years. There's just not that much diversity. It seems like there's just athletes wide receivers at the top. Another thing that I think is a great touch is that playing style is less likely to be a main pitch for a prospect. According to Fang, the reason for this is that playing style drives drastically increases the chances of each player choosing the user's school. So as you can see, conference prestige on here twice. I think that that is perfectly reasonable. I'm seeing less guys that are interested, especially at the top, in being close to home. I also think that that is a great touch. And it's not like prospects are that buffed in general. It's just the awareness. Obviously, there's going to be like the blue chip guys like Xavier Johnson. But I think as we go down the list, we're going to find that it definitely ranges based on the player. Here's an example of one of the quarterback athletes that has significantly lower throw accuracy. But good throw power. Really makes you have to develop him a little bit more. Why not just throw all the best guys on the board? I'm interested in seeing how this all pans out. This is a crazy Juco. This guy's 81 overall. Four stars is a Juco sophomore. I did see that Fang is intending to kind of nerf Jucos, so I'm curious to see how that develops. It'd be really cool to see like more blue chip guys. I always feel like the blue chip ones are an outside backer, when in reality, there's some really great inside backers too. Oh my god, he's 88 overall. Are you kidding me? Whoa! 86 gem. That's that's insane. So right off the bat, we're already seeing the guys at the top kind of reflecting the true freshmen that we see contribute early in real life. It's really just buffed awareness, which makes a lot of sense. The rest of this video is me just recruiting these overpowered prospects. I want this to be the greatest recruiting class ever recorded on NCAA 14. Look at these 85 plus overalls. I want this for the thumbnail. I want to see like a three-star freshman just be like 83 overall. Now the crazy thing that I just thought of, could you imagine if you combined Fang's recruiting generator with Seagator's slider set? 
I reviewed it a couple videos ago if you want to check that out. And then use the utility tool. I may never play the vanilla game ever again. Mods are the future. And we're not getting Xavier Johnson. Everyone wants the second coming of Walter Jones. Lala Dixon, that's a name. I gotta say, with playstyle not being one of the top pitches, I'm actually having a harder time landing some of the prospects than I would otherwise. But overall, the class is still looking pretty good. Still looking good for these three guys, the holy trinity up here. But we've gotten a lot this class. So far, so good. We're loaded. It really makes a difference having better players in the class. You can definitely tell. We already have so many recruits. I can see a big visit week coming in. We've got 14 guys scheduled over the next two weeks. At this point in the year, we've signed nearly everyone that we want, and we still have three 84 plus guys on the board. It's like Christmas. Everyone is committed except for the three blue chip guys. We'll finish that up in the off season. We are in pretty good shape for these guys though going in, so not bad. Now I might think about spreading my points around a little more, but since this is just testing the recruiting generator, I'm just gonna throw points at Isaiah Duffy. And yeah, why not? Whatever. We got both of them. Let's go. That's pretty cool. Of course, we signed the number one class. I don't even need to explain that. And this is the final class with Fangs recruiting overall. Using my Washington State Cougars, it feels great to be a winner. Suck on this, Param Crow. I think Crow and I will be using this for the Recruiting War series that we're doing. So once again, consider subscribing. We had four players that are 85 or higher. I think I've only had like two ever. Two 82s and then a boatload of high 70s. So there you have it. One full class with Fangs Recruiting Generator. I think it's pretty sweet. Remember that a simple click of the like button goes a long way to helping out the channel and allows me to bring you more high quality content. If you're new, remember to subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments section below. This has been a full setup and overview of Fangs Recruiting Overhaul. My name is Jack. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you to Patreon supporters CJP Pohl, Dalton Jet, Jason DeMarco, Deegan Faria, Baki Harukawa, T Kling24, Christian Horn, Ibrahim Bashir, Jonathan Chadwick, Chrissy the King, Pum, Matthew, Thomas Pontillo, and Randy Constance.